want to lick, 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 lick you from your head to your toes. And I want to move you from the bed down to, down, down to the floor. And I want to, ah, ah, you make it so good. I don't want to leave. But I want to, no, 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 what's your fantasy? Anyway, y'all know what today is. Today is sex. <laughs> Tip. Bitch, sex, tip, Tuesday. Listen, I'm going to ask you ladies a question. Would you, you meet a guy, right? His dick, like, 13 inches. Would you fuck him? I could, me, No. Definitely not. Like you not gonna be going. You ain't no. I I don't need all that. No, I'm good. Mm mm. Mm mm. I don't think I can handle that shit like that. <laughs> like I just really don't. You know what I'm saying? And then like and, and if he is not kind, you know, to the woman, because a lot of men are. Re you men can be really really selfish. Please listen up, my guy. Whenever you have a sex with a woman, regardless of whatever your, your penis size is, right? You have to make sure that the pussy is way, 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 her entire body. Hopefully y'all had conversations so she can, although you explore, she can also give you, if, and you can also give her uh, information on, on ways in which you like to be touched and licked and bit and all and all ways that you want to be, you know, finesse while you in the bedroom. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, but, yeah, I wonder if he, if the dude like this, is he kind like that? Because you truly, what, especially if you, man, listen, I'm not trying to make you, you're not about to hurt me up. No, we ain't doing none of that. And I seen this one guy that was like that, right? Actually, I seen two guys. This is when I worked at the swingers, at the, at swinger parties, at this one particular swinger party that happened like every week. Um, and this one guy was there, and, you know, I was a host. So, you know, walking around my sexy shit out my wig, my eyelashes, my heels, and, you know, sexy shit. Yeah, now. And, um... He just kept on saying, please, can I eat your pussy? Can I eat your pussy? No! Motherfucker. First of all, I'm not even attracted to you. That, that's first. You know what I'm saying? And number two, bitch, just, no! You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't lay down and let motherfuckers go, on my pussy. Like, no! No! Like, and then third, now I don't like you because you keep on just acting, and I, and I said no. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm, I just don't let nobody, even if, like, even if we had a dental dam, like, you didn't even, the way he approached it, like, I, I appreciate the, because if you want something, you got to ask for it, you know what I'm saying? The closed mouths don't get fed, but the, you weren't about to get fed on me because I said no. You know what I'm saying? So I, I respect the fact that he asked, but um, no, boo. Um, but his shit was like this. And I was just like, oh my God. So the girls there, so we all, they all inquiring about shit. And they were saying that like his dick wouldn't stay hard. Like it wouldn't get hard, hard. And I wonder if it's because it had nothing to do with like his dick being big. It must, it, more than likely, if a dude's dick ain't getting hard, hard, he must be, he fucking a lot. You know what I'm saying? That, that could be it. And then also it could be that the girl that he was having sex with, she probably wouldn't turn him on like that. So you have to have sexual chemistry. Regardless if it's something that you just hitting right now, you know, you just met or whatever the fuck. Well, in a swinger uh, club uh, capacity like that, we already everybody know that they're there and it's a sec in the sexual energy. Now, if you meet a guy and you, you because it's like, it's based off like your, your visual you know what I'm saying? Like now, in a in a situation like that, like it's it's all visual. But however, you can uh, gain some attraction with somebody because they do a little small talk. You know what I'm saying? If, if you if you good if you good if you if you have good game, um, you know this. You know what I'm saying? Then you know with, with a little small talk, then you know she probably just say yeah or whatnot like that. So, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm definitely not. I'm not with that. Like, and even if. 
if I was to meet somebody like that, oh, motherfucker, you gotta know, marry me. Like, mm-mm. But some shit like that, like, I'm just not like, like, you know what I'm saying? And, and also, just because a man got a, a big penis does not make him a good lover. That does not mean that shit. That does not. You know what I'm saying? That's why Channels Like Kid is here to help you to navigate your sexual experience, people. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. And, it, and, it, and sex isn't really really hard. But the thing is, men, you cannot be selfish when it comes to, to sexual pleasures of, of the woman's body. Like, take your time with her just because you think it's hard. She, she's not ready just yet. You know, and then a lot of women just accept shit, just just accept it just because they don't know how to articulate. Yo, no, you know what I'm saying? And they feel like they don't want to hurt the 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 guy's motherfucking feelings. I had this this woman. Now she was she could have been like sixty something. So she was saying that she was this guy that she was dating, and um, she was like, yo, he would go down here and lick my pussy and come up and be like, like he done did something. She'd be looking at him like. But she's like, she'll play along like, yeah, you did good. But in fact, he wasn't licking her pussy the way she liked it. And why is that? Because And why is she accepting that? I don't know. And it's because she not having com- communication with this guy. Like, no, this is how I like it. Or You know what I'm saying? And how do you find out how you like it, though? Like, for like these toys and like women, it takes a a, a, a woman to make, well, I think black women, listen, y'all probably don't want it, but it's a fact. Like, this shit dates all the way back. Like, history is a part of now, right? And as it relates to black people. Like, you know, uh, black women were, were sexually assaulted. You know, then, then you know, we was removed from the family. Like, all this shit is, is intertwined. And then, uh, because of that, we didn't really have talks about sex and shit like that. And now it's just people just accepting shit for, for what it is. But I think people are definitely getting better at it and, and understanding sex and having real conversations as it relates to this topic you know but um yeah but you can't just and this way was like i said she was 60 something years old and this man was just like doing that and she was just like and she never told him that he wasn't doing it right the way that she liked it and that's fucked up you know what i'm saying and it's a lot yo i heard women who marry say shit like that somebody said some shit like he get on me. She said that shit like it was the nineteen twenties, and and she said basically said something to the to the effect of uh, he get on me and do his business. And this was in two thousand twenty two. She said that shit to me. I was like, wait, what year the fuck is we in right now? Because that's some shit that they said back then. Like you know, because men didn't have no consideration for women. And then a lot of men get their knowledge from from men about how to please a woman, and then most of them be like really selfish. And then they call themselves players or pimps or whatnot. So they don't really have like a strong affection for a woman. It's just for their own personal needs. When in fact, when you're having sex with somebody, it's reciprocated. Like it's like it's a ball of this energy that's like, like it just get good and just oh God. It's it's a magnificent thing that God had gave us. You know what I'm saying? And when you utilize this shit right with whomever, whether it's a side chick, your wife, your husband, your girlfriend, whatever the fuck. It can be mind blowing. Now y'all know my mind is like an old school TV. I'll be going all over the place. But listen, so the question is, ladies, if you meet a guy, this, would you, 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 could you, could you still fuck with him? Now I have said that, especially for my guys who may be like small or medium, like, well, not small, like don't, don't, don't feel no type of way. About that shit. As long as you know how to please her body. You know what I'm saying? And if you got a big pussy girl. You need to do those exercises. Like just press your your your, your pelvic uh, down. You know what I'm saying? They say the Kegel. Which is made up for some doc. Some white doctor. Girl boo and bye. Use your muscles and press that shit down. To tighten up that your, your muscles down there. And also. Some people say that it worked. I have never personally did it. But um, the jade egg, like you can use the jade egg, put that in there, and also do the the muscle thing and see how that. Some people say that that shit really really works. Like if your pussy is stretched off out like that, like that from childbirth or just 
constantly fucking different men that ain't judging. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so the question is, ladies, would you, you meet some dude, I mean like this, not not this and, and skinny, but a thick shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I seen this one porn. So I was like, why is this dude standing behind the couch? But he was he was kissing on the girl behind the couch. I thought that was kind of cute, though. She was on the couch. He was leaning over the couch, and he was kissing her, rubbing on her titties, and licking all over and shit, like playing with her pussy and all that shit. When he came around the couch, his dick was about this long, for real. And his dick was about like that. I was just like, ooh, wow, that's, ooh, okay. Because you know, they all different. You know what I'm saying? A long, skinny one? I never came across that, but I seen that on the porn. And I wondered, like, that would make me be like, opposed to one that's maybe small, and sh like, got a little girl, like, but a long skinny one, like, that's kind of like, it's like, all dicks is different, all pussies is different. They all different. You know what I'm saying? Just like, well, and it's not necessarily true, but uh, for all, but I find that small chicks got really fat pussies. Chicks that stick like me and more kind of pussies are small. But that's not in every case. But in a lot of cases, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all please, ladies, let, let me know. And men, do you please your woman? Like, to, to the point of, like, you know, before you enter the pussy, like, do you really get her wet, 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 Do you really get her that? You know what I'm saying? And I hope so. And then, you know, y'all, the sex will just be off the chain after that. I want y'all to have good sex out there. Hey, get it, get it. But anyway, y'all know my name is Real, and I'm an intimacy coach slash seductress with the service called Seductive Bar. And in November, I got exciting news. Uh, I will be at uh, the Erotic Expo in New Jersey. <laughs> I have my, uh, I'm, a, I'm a guest speaker. I'll have a seminar. So I hope if y'all into that, please come out. Come sit in the motherfucking audience while I pop my shit on the sex shit for black, black people's experiences. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm super excited about that. Um, and, you know, ladies, if you have a plan a bachelorette party, girls nights out event, uh, want private lessons, or if y'all want me to come speak at a speaking engagement, he go to my website. You know, it's in the description box at the bottom. Um, I'm also an author. The title of my book is called Quickie is Seven Short Erotic Stories. Read why you fuck, fuck, why you read. Um, oh, let me say about my book. I'm definitely was inspired by Zane. Y'all know the black uh, author who writes sex books. Like, I read her book. It was like, but maybe years after, um, I was like, you know, I'm gonna do a book similar to that. But I only did seven stories, and it's in ebook form only. So it's a dollar ninety nine. So go check that out. Uh, also, um, you know, I'm a designer. It was just Fashion Week. So just yesterday, um, I caught. Well, they did. They did on Sunday. Um, two of my models and, and myself was on the big screen on uh, Times Square. Uh, so that was exciting, you know what I'm saying? Real nice, for real. Eh, eh, eh. Um, and I, I, also I'll be having some, I was selling some things on Etsy, but I just recently took it down. You know, summer is over. So now, uh, soon I'll be having some hoodies and then if they resonate with you, I hope you purchase that. Support black design. Support black. Do I have to tip? Yes. Oh, and also the shirt that I had on yesterday that said "Good Boy." That's a black designer from Flint, Michigan, and I believe he um, he passed on. May he rest in peace and, and greatness and all that other shit. Um, and that shirt that I had on yesterday that said "Good Boy." That's a designer in Flint, Michigan. Shout out to him. Shout out to uh, to Bed Rock too. That's also out in Flint, Michigan. Some designers and shit. Um, yeah, and also read my, um, well, I haven't written anything, but I have videos up there. You can see some shit. Like, I also, I also take pictures of people that I see outside that I think is stylish. You know, um, I take pictures and I also do videos. I got the, la the, the latest video I just put up there. It's about this girl. Her name is, um, uh, another designer. Uh, it's a mother and daughter team. We were in the competition together where I won. If I wouldn't have won, I thought she would have won. That's some real shit. If I wouldn't have won, I really thought they would have won. Um, but, um, 
anyway, she dope. The name of their, her brand is Miscellanea. And I also got her, you can check out just, a, I did like a quick little video uh, on my um, blog. So also, oh, please check that out. I'll appreciate that and all that little shit. And, um, oh wait, also in November, I will start in November because I will be having my seductive art workshop. It's going to be for women and men. I hope y'all come through. I'm going to start advertising in November. Come check your girl. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have, it's going to be a good time. Good talks. Good, just good, 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 good. Um, and, um, uh, if I resonate with you, you know what to do. Please hit that, click that. I would appreciate that. Try to get these numbers up and shit and y'all know how i lead this motherfucker uh be generous be kind be gracious be on time be focused be about your motherfucking money uh be a part of your motherfucking community be uh black people black people be black and proud you have a rich heritage do you not understand that um be great at what you're great at be be mentally physically spiritually financially and emotionally well work on that each and every day and add whatever else you need to add on to the list to 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 gain power within yourself be just be be spiritual be one with your ancestors um and all this other shit because you know we ain't doing number pushing uh p around here which means we're pushing positivity um and in the midst of all of that you don't compromise, you don't fold, you you don't go around it. And that is, you always be you. Until we meet again, y'all have a great one. Peace.